and since the update aquatic is out and we're doing all these update aquatic tutorials it fits right in with my top 10 banners to do top 10 aquatic banners for use in your newly created minecraft underwater world hey there guys skippy here for room skippy six gaming guys coming to you from new tutorial world where i just pack everything nice and tight and everything goes in straight lines cars that way banners here yeah so uh we've been doing these top 10 banners and they've been going pretty good but as you can see we're gonna do top 10 update aquatic banners these are things that you could put on uh yeah your world your underwater temple whatever the heck it is you're doing you're doing it underwater and these will come into play so for this one here guys let's go for 372 likes if you're down with the cause and uh, you're down with the update aquatic uh, yeah stick around and we're gonna get her done and so this guy right here is the puffer fish come on it really does look like a puffer fish it looks so so much like a puffer fish so we're gonna go over here it's a very straightforward one we're only looking at uh, yeah five steps on this one i think five steps and it starts off with a brown banner we're gonna grab this brown banner cocoa beans creeper heads yellow dye cyan dye ink sacks oxide daisy so we're gonna start off and we're gonna do a uh, brown ink oxide let's do it up brown ink oxide brown ink and oxide take that banner over here we're gonna do a line of cyan down the middle that might be pretty easy i feel like there's lag in my world line o cyan take that fancy banner little dot of yellow in the middle one more time over we got a creeper face on the left side and a ink sack in the center creeper on the left ink sack on the center looking like we're taking shape there now and we're gonna go to this guy right here looks like there's gonna be an extra step we got uh, this guy here with a yellow and an oxide daisy so let's do it this guy here got a yellow yellow and an oxide daisy right there look at that ding dang dong we got ourselves the puffer fish looking beautiful awesome and now we're gonna head over and take a look at a beautiful ocean sunset a beautiful ocean sunset will go good in any of uh, your you know beach areas this is this guy's been following me around all day no joke as soon as i put the banner down at the end of this one watch he's gonna run up to it let's go over here and start off guys this one's gonna involve oxide daisy light blue dye cyan dye orange dye yellow dandelion lapis lazuli and start off with a white banner we're gonna take that white banner and we are going to go here with an upside down y white banner and an upside down Y with the Psi. And perfect, this guy here, bang. That gives us our uh, flamboyant uh, thing right here, upside down blue with lapis lazuli. So we're just gonna put this guy here and we're gonna make the upside down Y with lapis lazuli. Two, three, four, perfect. Take this guy out. Let's move on down. Orange oxide, pretty simple one. Take this guy here. Oh, now it's going faster orange and then the oxide daisy right there feeling good looking good let's grab it yellow dot of yellow in the middle that's an easy one drop it right there so light blue not cyan light blue bottom six let's take this guy here put him right here one two three four five six perfect light blue bottom six take it out and ta-da we have where's the chicken see he's here bro i told you <laughs> look do it do it do it and there you go guys beautiful ocean sunset i told you when i put this down he's gonna be here somewhere nice and coming up next on the list is the very cool trident banner guys we're loving those tridents and we can make the banner it's a very simple one all you need is a blue banner, yellow dye, and uh, lapis lazuli. As you can see, start with the blue. There he is again, this guy. Start off with the blue and put the yellow all the way around. I hope this chicken doesn't do this all day. I'm going to have to edit so much of this. Put it all the way around just like this. We got a blue with a yellow ring. Move on over. 
we're gonna have to put these lapis in a v-shaped above it so let's take this guy right here he's there again oh lapis in a v-shape perfect take it out you can see we have the outer forks right there top with six lapis in the bottom one two three four five six take it back over here to the right with a line of yellow in the center right here bing bang ding ding oh look at that turbo placement right there take it out Last but not least, I think we're just gonna put this line down the middle. I'm telling you that, that chicken is like literally gonna be following me all day. <laughs> I'm not joking. Run two, three, and we have our trident. Super cool, super easy. It goes perfect with the current update. See that? <laughs> He's tripping me out. See, this is a ah. <laughs> And who wouldn't want a walrus? Come on, if you have like an ocean base, maybe, you know, like the walruses sitting on the docks. Sometimes they have like, you know, harbors and piers with walruses on them. I mean, you could work something like that into it. It's pretty easy, guys. All you need is some uh, black banner, uh, a little bone meal, a little cocoa beans, and a little pink dye. Let's go over here. Black banner starts in the top with six meal de bone underneath it. Right there. Perfect. Take this guy out. Over here, cocoa beans down the center with the banner to the right. Cocoa beans. Take it out. Over here, pink down the middle with the banner at the bottom. Perfect. Cocoa beans at the top with the banner at the bottom. And a layer of cocoa beans around the banner. And guess what? We have our walrus. Look at that easy peasy lemon squeezy. Again, you could make it. I'm telling you, if you had like, you know, a harbor or a bay or something, you know, going down, you could have yourself, uh, maybe if you made a body, you could make a body out of brown blocks, I think, and that would be super cool. And this guy right here is a simple squid banner. Could be used for a bazillion different things. All you need is some vines, some ink sacs, some light blue dye. Start with a magenta banner, guys. It's very key. When I first made this banner here, I kind of messed up a bit because magenta and pink look very similar. So make sure that your dye is magenta dye and the magenta banner and not mix and match. So start off with your pink banner with uh, three blue in an upside down V. So magenta triple blue take her out done and done over here we're gonna have opposite corners look at that take the banner that's magenta dye right here ding 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 oh it looks like there's a pig uh, keeping me company today did I these animals this guy here one two three four Perfect. Now we can see the squid taking shape. Right here, we got a vine and a blue, light blue. Take the banner right here, light blue. The light blue goes into the middle here. And the vine goes there. Look at that. Perfect. Pull it out. Over here, drop it down. Ink sacks down the center. Done, done, and done. And then guess what? A whole rim of blue around it. Ding, 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 do, do. There we go. And last but not least, I think everybody knows what this one is. One in the center. Perfecto. Looking good. We have uh, Mr. Squid. Looks good to me. 
And this one here is one of my favorites. It really does look like a turtle and it's super, super cool. I really think you have like a turtle island, turtle armor. Man, it could it could go all kinds of ways. It's pretty easy. We just need some dark green, cactus green, uh, light blue banner, light blue dye, yeah, dandelion, dandelion yellow dye, creeper head, and some beans de cacao. Let's go ahead and throw some dark green in a shape around the light blue. So we're just gonna do this, like this. Take them out. Over here, we're gonna have an X, a light blue X on top of the banner. Perfect, take it out. Creeper head, dark green on top. Right there. Feeling good, looking good. Take it out. Light blue down the center. Perfect. You can see the turtle shape taking. Yellow in the middle. Feels good, looks good. We got one last one with the brown in the middle. And that'll be the center of the shell. Ta-da! Look at that. Looky right there. Turtle banner. Hype! And now a good old fashioned boat. Who doesn't recognize this as a boat or need a boat banner? Not me. All you need is some uh, vines, some cocoa beans, some lapis lazuli, and some light blue dye. Start off with a white banner. As you can see, white to the left light blue to the right white to the left light blue all up in here take it out over here light blue line down the middle nice six cocoa beans on the bottom Perfect. So now we got a cross of cocoa beans with the banner on the bottom left. Just like that. Over here, light blue vines. Oh, you can see a boat coming now. Now we just go to this side and guess what? Banner in the middle with some lapis on the bottom. And the final result will be this boat banner. Perfect for all your nautical adventures. And this guy right here, don't be jelly homie. This is a jellyfish, maybe. I think it's a jellyfish. Yeah, it's a pretty easy one. Super cool looking. I think it could fit into a few things. Very easy. Just need some ink sacs, black banner, and pink dye. We're going to take this black banner, and we're going to put uh, four. Uh, put this guy right here. Four pinks up here, and not there. Right here. Perfect. We got our pink and black stripes. Take it over here. Let's put an upside or a V of pink on top of it. This guy here. Right there, V of pink, on de toi. Take this guy right here. Now we need a line of pink down the middle. That's pretty cool. Take this guy right here. Line of pink down the middle. Take him. And last but nope, there's two more. We're gonna do an, a V underneath the banner now of ink. I thought the next one was the last one. This guy here, this guy here, and there. And now we're gonna put a whole border of black on it. And guess what? We're gonna have our jellyfish. I guess if you wanted to be creative with this one, <laughs> no, I don't want it. That actually looks pretty cool. 
Uh, you could just switch black and pink for any other two colors you want. I'm thinking this uh, that would probably work exactly the same. And then you could have like, you know, a yellow and black. I think pink makes it look really jellyfishy, but white could also, white on blue. I think this one stands out the most and it looks hype. And here we have a guardian. Everybody needs a guardian. What if you took a whole ocean monument and you souped it up into a dope castle? You could have this there and it would fit in perfect. So uh, it's a pretty easy one. All you need is some cyan dye, some orange dye, some red rose, some gray dye, and a white banner. So start off with white with a dot of red. Looks like the Japanese flag. Let's go over here with a whole round of gray on top of it. Perfecto. Take this guy out, move on over. Cyan at the very top. Perfect. Take this guy over here, cyan on the very bottom, but make sure you put the banner into the center area. Nice. Over here, we got this uh, crown of orange. <laughs> Why did I call that a crown? That's what threw me off. I'm like, crown? What did I mean by crown? It could be a upside down V is what I've been calling it, but hey, why not? This guy, this guy, this guy. Looking good. We have our guardian, uh, our guardian banner. Feeling hype. No, we don't. We're going to put one more. We're going to put the crown on the bottom, Skippy. Come on. So we're going to put this guy here, and then we'll put the upside down V or the right side up V. You guys get it. Done, done, and done. We have ourselves... A guardian banner and this guy right here is super cool really good kind of cool f like look it's like a faded fish you could use this in the background of an aquarium I think if you had an aquarium and these were in the background you could change this direction and everything I think it would look super hype pretty easy to make guys you need some orange dye lapis lazuli light blue dye light blue banner bone meal and oxide daisy let's start out with our blue banner our blue banner so this is a unique one I always wonder if it does anything. I do think it does some, it makes like the, the top have a lighter shade. I'm not gonna get into this again. Either way, light blue and light blue. So let's do, let's do the light blue right here. It has a fancy name. It's a Fizar. <laughs> yeah, and orange with an oxide daisy. Take it out. So this is a unique one too. We're gonna have him in the top with the bottom left corner. Right here, bottom left, one, two, three. And that's partial goldfish, bottom with a right cross. right there doesn't look like a fish yet almost though and then all you got to do is put an orange dot ta-da done done and done so I think uh, we're gonna do this it's not done we're gonna do this fade that's what makes it really look good so let's just take that banner I knew we needed the lapis for something there you go it's just sometimes after a few it's like oh done no not done Right there, upside down Y. Take out the banner. Live like a king. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, tons of cool stuff, guys. These aquatic banners, I think, will be super awesome for whatever you're doing right now. We're getting a bunch of these banners going. Every time I do it, I'm going to do it here, and maybe one day I'll have the ultimate wall of banners, and then I could do a top 100 banners tutorial. It will be dope. Smash the like. Subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.